is Comtia A+, a garbage certification. For those who are not familiar with me and this channel, you probably know I always suggest not to get this certification. And I have my reasons. Some of you may think, don't you hate all Comtia certifications, Dean? Well, that's already been debunked. I provided more details in this video. Why I hate Comtia certifications. Now, let's focus more on Comtia A+. Many YouTubers are still talking about and recommending these certifications. Like this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, too many of them. And I'm glad there's this one guy, a YouTuber, who really believes also Comtia A+, is not a good uh, certification to take. So, in this video, I will ask my friend ChatGPT if this certification is really a garbage. And as usual, comment below and shout out your location like Nice Video Dean from Uganda, Malawi, Uzbekistan. But if you are in large country, please also mention your city like from Port Moresby, Stockholm, Boracay, etc. I'm here now in one of my web browser, a web browser that I don't normally use. And I'm not even logged in so that ChatGPT won't understand our past discussion and past conversations. Um, so let's begin. So uh, let's click stay logged out first. And the first question that I will ask to ChatGPT is if A plus still a good certification. Okay, so let's ask. Is A plus still a good cert? Okay. Uh, the answer is yes, Comtia A plus still a good certification. Depends on your goal. And here's the breakdown. Okay, it's good when you're new to IT. A plus is a foundational knowledge. It's a great career change or entry level tech technical certification. You want to land your first job, many employers list A plus as the preferred or required certification and shows baseline competency. You're pursuing other Comtia certifications as well. Okay, like after A plus, you may want to pursue Network Plus, Security Plus, and the others. And uh, when A plus might not be worth it, when you already have IT experience, you're focusing on a specific track like cybersecurity, cloud DevOps, and you want a more advanced role. Okay, so is if it's worth it, brand new to IT, first helpless job, and want to build a solid foundation, and it's not worth it if you're already in IT and focusing on other paths. Okay, so this is super basic. All of these are maybe something that we already know. Um, now let's ask more questions to ChatGPT. Uh, is A plus cost really worth it? Did it mention here? Uh, it didn't mention, but I know what the cost of A plus and probably you already you also do is 400 plus US dollars. Let's ask ChatGPT if uh, the the cost is really worth it. So it's a great question. It's a valid question because Comptia A plus isn't cheap. Okay, and uh, for its level entry level, it's really really expensive. So it's two exam vouchers and a total cost of 492 USD. We have retake policy or protection optional 100 200 US dollars. Training materials, well, it may vary, but more or less it's 300 USD. Well, probably even less. You can take just a Udemy course or an Udemy practice exam, which is it should be less than uh, 50 US dollars. So the total estimate will be 500 to 800 plus. Let's just say 510 or 520. Or uh, regardless, it's still 500 USD and. Uh, uh, when the cost is worth it, if you have no IT experience, you need to show employers you're serious, you're self-funding your career shift, you're applying to companies that require A+. And this is almost the same answer from the previous one. Um, not be a good idea, and when the cost might not be worth it, if you already know the material, you're financially tight and need ROI fast. Uh, you have to take note A plus may take months to study for. Well, it depends on your knowledge. You live in a region where A plus isn't well known or valued. Okay. Now, final thoughts. Uh, a plus is solid investment in your IT foundation if you're starting out, but if you already have direction, skills, or budget concerns, 
this is not cheaper or not the faster way to go where you want to go. Okay, so the answer is still a bit vague. Uh, this is not the answer that we are looking for. Okay, there are always two sides, like when the cost is worth it and when the cost might not be worth it. Okay, we'll ask ChatGPT more, more deep, you know, more straightforward. Uh, but before that, before we ask more questions to our friend ChatGPT, I just want to share. Okay, and this is what I don't agree with most YouTubers. They suggest taking A+, plus because they have stories about it. CompTIA A+, plus as their first certification, and it helped them to break into IT. And without A+, plus, they will not probably um, get that first job, which is, most of the time, help desk. Okay? Now, that A+, plus certification that they were talking about, that was probably 10 to 25 years ago. Okay? It's totally different now. And uh, think about it, the technology and the demand for IT professionals is really different. Things have changed. Now, let's ask ChatGPT how good A plus before and how good or bad A plus now. Okay, so we'll ask the question, is, is it as good as 10 to 25 years ago? Okay, hit enter. And the, the short answer is, look at this. The answer is now going to a different direction. It's now safe. It's more direct. Um, it's no. A plus is not as valuable today as it was 10 to 25 years ago, but still has some value depending on your situation. Okay, 10 to 25 years ago, if you were IT candidates, fewer certs. And uh, the landscape, there are still more opportunity for people who want to fix or companies who want to fix PCs, printers, on-site support. A plus content, very relevant to day-to-day -day IT work before. Okay, today is different. I think it's crowded. Cloud mobile, remote tools, automation dominates. Still relevant, but more basic in modern IT. A plus is expected for sometimes or sometimes overlooked. Okay, competition. There are fewer entry-level certifications. Now there are tons of free and cheap alternatives. Okay, what's better or worse day? What's still good about A+, is still respected. It's still popular. Um, I'm not going to deny that. Still shows commitment and structured. Still required by some government or military contracts. Still a good confidence builder. What's not as strong now, it doesn't stand out as much. doesn't cover modern tech deeply. Okay, and obviously it won't get you to higher level roles. Okay, and a realistic take... Um, a plus could get you a job with little else on your resume. Today is starting point, not a career maker. Okay, so is A plus still worth it? Okay, so this is just a repeat from the previous output. Um, now, we will ask this because it says no, right? The, 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 the straightforward answer is, where is that? No, but I want to know the ratings of A plus in um, specific years, okay, and now and soon to be, um, okay. So rate A plus one to five, okay, uh, from two thousand one to two thousand ten, and two thousand eleven to twenty twenty, okay, and twenty twenty one to twenty twenty five. I want to know what will ChatGPT rate uh, with this certification, okay. So rate A plus, here's the rating scale, okay, with relevance, market value, and competitive edge. So 2001 to 2010, look at the ratings. Four out of five, which is high value, okay? A plus was one of the few widely recognized entry-level certs. Now, 2011 to 2020, uh, is, it went down from four um, out of five, now it's three out of five. Still useful, but less dominant. I users become more common. Cloud and mobile were rising. And as you can see, uh, we have a vendor specific like Google and Microsoft began offering more alternatives. How about 2021, which is just basically four years ago? Okay, A plus from 2021 up to now, much less impact. The job market expects more. Cloud, scripting, soft skills, modern infrastructure. A plus is now mostly a checkbox certification for true beginners. As you can see, the decline 
of the value okay, of A plus from 4 to 3 to 2. We're talking about now 2025. Okay? And uh, here's the summary. A plus peak in 2000s. Value declined as tech industry shifted to cloud automation and virtualization. In 2025, it's best used as a stepping stone, not a standalone credentials. But if you think about it, this is almost 500 USD, but it will only get you a two-star rating. Okay, yeah, you can answer that. Is it worth it? Um, now, this is up to 2025. Now, let's look at the long term. Okay. What what happens to A plus or what's the rating of A plus from 2026, which is just next year, to 2030? Okay, let's see what ChatGPT um, will rate for the next few years. Okay, so the rating is two out of five still, but it may be may maybe even decline um, or go down to 1.5 out of five. Okay, so. If you think about it, 1.5 out of 5, your certification, that is your rating. Will you still go for it? Okay, so uh, th this is the prediction. Automation in AI, cloud dominance, modern skills demand, alternative learning. Um, what else? Cert landscape, more targeted job role certifications, cloud cyber security, networking. As you see, networking is still here. Okay, that will hold more weight. Employers to want skills, not just generalist certification. And uh, I don't know if he will uh, tell this, but you know nowadays, or employers, most of the employers will go to a vendor-specific certification, especially if they have uh, issues on that vendor, if they need someone who really fixed the problem uh, on uh, those solutions. Okay, what would keep it from being one out of five? Still useful for absolute beginners, government, might update the content, etc. So we've seen this before. Who should still consider A plus 2026 to 2030? Okay. Uh, we've seen this also from the previous output. Final verdict, A plus will be a niche starter cert, not a career booster. Still relevant in very entry level or legacy environment. You, you have to take note of this. It says legacy. Okay. If you're preparing for future IT, build hands-on skills and look into cloud, networking, okay, cybersecurity. Okay, so this is it. It just tells us that A plus is now two out of five and soon to be 1.5 or even one out of five. Okay. Now let's ask ChatGPT real questions. Okay. Um is A plus a garbage certification because this is what we really want to know okay a plus a garbage certification uh probably chat gp will say no because he's polite he's not mean so it says comptia is not a garbage certification but it's definitely limited in today's it landscape here's the honest route why a plus is not garbage it teaches fundamentals it's still required by some employers it's still structured it builds uh, confidence and why some people think it's garbage too basic for modern IT low ROI or return of investment you don't need it to get hired too expensive okay straight talk uh, calling a plus garbage is overreaction but it's understandable why some feel that way it's outdated it's often oversold and it's not competitive in 2025 and beyond all right now uh, like what I mentioned, Chat GPT is being polite. Uh, he doesn't talk trash, but let let's ask it one more time. No bullshit or no BS. A plus is garbage compared to other certification. Question mark. Let's see what it will tell us. Got it. No fluff. No BS. Yes, Comtia A plus is garbage compared to most other certifications in 2025 if you already know tech or are aiming higher okay so you will look at other certifications here aws azure um ccna uh, there are actually non-certifications like youtube labs but has better value okay market power um, other or alternative certifications specialized certifications open real doors now here's the real talk Hiring managers don't care about A-plus anymore. 
you've got real skills or better certifications. No one gets into cloud, cyber, or sysadmin roles because of A+. Think about it. A+, is for help desk, okay, or, or, or IT support. YouTube labbing and free ship certifications teach you more for less money. Think about it. Why, why would you want to spend 500 US dollars, okay, for something that you will end up being help desk? And again, the, those... Uh, technologies and concepts that is talked about in A+, it will not get you to the cloud, okay? Not, it will not um, give you a fundamental cybersecurity either. So only A+, isn't garbage. Uh, you're brand new to IT, you're in school. Uh, come on. Um, this is something that we've seen or heard before. Bottom line here, here is, yes, in 2025, A+, is mostly garbage compared to other certifications unless you're a total beginner. You know, a lot of beginners skip A+, okay? And uh, think about it, A+, is scored 2 out of 5, and soon will go down 1.5 out of 5, okay? And uh, if you if you like CompTIA uh, as an organization, you can skip A+, and maybe you go to Security+, Plus, Network+, Plus. I'm, I don't recommend it, but of course, it's still better than A+. Okay, maybe uh, go to vendor certifications, AWS, Azure, Cisco, and uh, Linux Plus. You know, Linux Plus is also uh, associate level certification. This is actually way better than going for A+. Ask your first CompTIA certification. Every time you will debate with people either taking CompTIA A+, or not, just refer this video. Now, just to summarize, CompTIA A plus is not really a garbage because it's still relevant for a few cases. Like some loser companies still recognize this certification. But for ChatGPT, it already admitted and confirmed CompTIA A plus is mostly a garbage compared to other certifications in 2025 and years to come. And this is what I always want to highlight. CompTIA A plus High cost, low ROI. And that alone, you should be smart enough to decide not to take it. Now, let me know what other certifications that you think is a garbage.